how should you feel after a first date? That's a question I get from a lot of my clients. I'm Laurel House. I'm a celebrity dating and empowerment coach. And I have so many clients who, after a first date, say, how should I be feeling right now? Because this is how I feel. Is that normal? Well, there are a lot of different post-first date feelings. And most of them are healthy. And most of them could actually lead to a second date, even though it's not that <gasps> chemistry. So let's go over a few of them. So you might feel turned off, off, like, I don't like you, you bother me, there's something wrong with you, you annoy me, okay, you shouldn't go on a second date. It might feel, unless there's a reason for that and you have a conversation after and then, you know, you might feel interested to see if you're interested. So you're not really emotionally invested yet, you're not chemically attracted, you don't have that chemistry feeling, but you're interested, you're intrigued. There's something about them that you want to know more and you're not exactly sure why. You feel a like great conversation and there's so much that you'd like to learn. So great, have another date. You might feel chemistry, that like intense feeling that actually is showing up in your brain in the same location as cocaine and has the same drug-like effect as cocaine. They say that love is blind, chemistry is blinding. It can be very dangerous. It can make you do things that are crazy. And it's because you are actually on a drug. It is a self-made drug, but it's a drug called chemistry. So if you feel that excitement, that pull, that focus, that obsession, try and reel yourself in and think, okay, I do feel this intensity for them. And let me think about who they actually are as a person. Are they actually someone who would be right for me? Yes, maybe I want them, but can they satisfy my needs also? So try and put yourself into that headspace, even though you're out of your mind. And finally, attraction. Attraction is what you want. You're attracted to someone. There's something about them that sexy. doesn't matter what they look like or what they do for a living or any of the normal things that people might find attractive, but you're attracted to them at a deeper level. It's more rooted. Think about a plant. So this is how a relationship should grow. You, you buy a plant at a plant store, right? And it comes in this little thing and it has all of its roots are all tight up into this thing and you plant it into the ground and pretty soon the roots are going to start to expand out, right? They're loosening up, they're expanding, maybe they go down, then they expand out, they're strengthening, and then a little teeny thing is shooting up, some leaves are coming, and then after a little while, flowers. Same thing with a relationship. You plant it, right? You start to get to know each other, it starts to root, a little bit of trust, starts to expand, you're learning more about each other, you're building a foundation, and within that foundation then leaves start to come up, oh, hmm, this is the outside, this is the, this looks good, this feels really good, the flowers, now it's like really blooming and it's, you have something good here. That's what a relationship is made of. It doesn't have to be that initial chemical attraction. In fact, most relationships, most relationships do not start with chemistry. A lot of the relationships that start with chemistry end up being one night relationships. Super attraction and then mm, fades. Bored, not for me. I suddenly saw the light and realized that we are just not a match. It is the attraction, it's the deep, it's the rooted. Attraction is revealed. Attraction takes it takes time. It doesn't have to take years. It could take a couple of dates and every time you see them, you're a little bit more intrigued. You're a little more into it. There's more about them that you want to know. You see that this person could be enduring for you. And, and, and really, that's what you want on a first date. You don't need to be hit over the head with this chemical attraction. As long as it, it feels, feels good, it feels calm, it feels easy. I like talking to them. I feel like there are a lot of my needs, my, my relationship sustaining needs that they could meet, and, and I could meet theirs too. So how do you feel on a first date? Well, those are a couple of the feelings. Don't just X someone out because you don't have the chemistry because those aren't always the best relationships. And in fact, oftentimes they're not the good relationships. Oftentimes those are the toxic relationships. Oftentimes those are the unhealthy relationships. It's the attraction when you have 
a clear mind, those are the relationships that last. That's what you want to look for. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. You can work with me as your dating coach if you go to my website, laurelhouse.com. You can also email me, laurel at laurelhouse.com, and we can talk about how we can work together. Follow me on Instagram, at laurelhouse, and Twitter and Facebook, at Dating Laurel. I look forward to seeing you again soon.